welcome back uh, now we will discuss operation uh, maintenance and troubleshooting of MV switch gear I have taken one switch gear uh, Seco gear as example here uh, more or less you will find similar uh, techniques with little differences in other switch gear so we will just see what you have to do in doing how you can do operation maintenance and troubleshooting uh, rack circuit breaker out from the service position to test position uh, or disconnect position so in this one you will see how you can uh, rack in and rack out the circuit breaker trolley so you have first of all need to open the circuit breaker by pressing the open button uh, you can you cannot uh, so in some circuit breaker this interlock is provided the breaker is closed you are not able to rack it out but uh, in old switch gears this might not be available or this might be is not functional so if you're trying to rack out breaker when the uh, rack out trolley when the breaker is closed and there is some kind of load also flowing through it will create a huge arc so this point is has to be taken care you have to confirm the breaker is open position next is uh, if you confirm the breaker is now open insert the crank into the cranking hole and turn the crank anti-clockwise by around 20 turn this is this should be given by uh, from the manufacturer how much turns you have to do it uh, until the circuit breaker moves to test position how you will be knowing it there is a semaphore indication which or uh, maybe it might be a bulb in your switch gear that will show that now the breaker is in test position okay after rack out open the circuit breaker compartment door unlock the release control plug you can see now you can unlock your, this from this position this position and place it in the storage position of the withdrawable part so this is the storage position this is a hanger board you will put it here so now you can uh, now the breaker is in test position now you even you have racked the plug out so all the electrical supplies are disconnected move the circuit breaker service trolley towards the circuit breaker compartment and it is fully engaged try to pull the service trolley back and make sure it is locked on to switch gear release the lever on the right more position so this you have to do okay then you can see now as we have discussed you will put a trolley and you will rack this uh, uh, circuit breaker trolley uh, circuit breaker okay on this stand so at after some, some time you will push it uh, back it will be locked on the trolley so it will not move further uh, here you, you have you can this point is you can adjust these levers from this point okay uh, to match the level of the stand to the CB CB compartment side the two handles on the circuit breaker with double form inverse to release it down drown the circuit breaker onto the service trolley until the frame is latched this we have discussed turn the lever on the service trolley to left most to release the service trolley from the switch gear panel okay rack the circuit breaker in from disconnector position to test position so this is our next talk ensure the circuit breaker compartment is clear and without any unexpected objects ensure the earthing switch is in open position uh, earthing switch should also be in open position uh, ensure the shutter is closed if it is it was blocked to open position during maintenance you have to make sure the shutter is closed move the circuit breaker to the test position in the switch gear Check the handles on the withdrawable frame and they should stay at outmost position when the frame is fully engaged. See the figure next. Otherwise the circuit breaker cannot be racked in. So this is, uh, is, this is basically the um, circuit breaker trolley Then we are putting rack in after following the previous points. Okay, after you put the trolley in insert the control plug into the socket in the switch gear and secure the latch so that it is fully engaged close the circuit breaker compartment door make sure the earthing switch if applicable is open with the mechanically interlocked so here earthing switch is open and shutter mechanism is in the normal position you can see here the symbol 
which is showing the circuit breaker is open and now you can rack in the breaker turn the crank clockwise to rack the circuit breaker to service position until it is engaged with the corresponding circuit breaker status indication on the low voltage so you have to keep on uh, rotating crank clockwise until the mimic and diagram will show that breaker is now racking the switch gear panel is now re uh, re ready to energize monitor the indications to ensure correct position close the arcing switch how you will close the arcing switch check that the voltage presence indication on the low voltage compartment is off check other electrical interlocks if applicable must allow operation lower the operating hole shutter and insert the operating handle and run hand, the handle 180 degree clockwise to close the arc switch so this is example this is a very big handle you have to move it 180 degree so if you want to if you want to close the arc switch you have to move from this position to this position this is complete 180 degree uh the arc switch will be closed and in the anti clockwise direction if you move it 180 degree arc switch will be open okay ensure the arcing switch is fully closed check the position indicator on the low voltage compartment uh at uh, it might be sema 4 or it might be bcu you have to confirm the arc switch is closed check the flag adjustment to the arcing switch operating hole okay open the arcing switch as we have discussed make sure the cable compartment is clear and without any unexpected object make sure the cable compartment door is closed completely insert the arcing switch operating handle and turn the handle 180 degree clockwise open the switch check the mechanically interlocked label and indication light to ensure the arcing switch is fully open interlocking of the switch gear the circuit breaker can be closed only when fully engaged in test or service position it mean breaker will not either open or close if it is in the middle the control plug can be released when circuit breaker is in the test position of disconnector position the control plug is latched when cb is in service position so you cannot pull the control plug out if it is in uh, service position circuit breaker can be racked into service position only when the arcing switch is open the cable compartment door can be open only when the arcing switch is closed so this this is the plug we are telling now the you can see this uh, interlock will not allow to remove this plug it mean the uh, breaker is in service position so you cannot rack out this plug maintenance of switch gear so what are the maintenance of switch gear uh there is routine maintenance safety measures routine maintenance function is to ensure smooth operation of the switch gear it does not require power shutdown but requires care to prevent incorrect operation the purpose of routine maintenance is to find issues in advance so that they can be resolved immediately routine inspection include check compartment doors are closed properly verify the voltage auxiliary voltage battery voltage are in normal condition the status indication and position indication for a circuit breaker arcing switch etc are normal check the ammeters and voltmeters for the display check relay indications power indication should be on and fault indication should be off check alarm and pre alarm indications no partial discharge must occur on the surface of equipment at operating voltage this can for example b detected by characteristic noises clearly perceptible smell of ozone or visible glowing in the dark check the heater condition if it's if installed the relay monitoring the handle current is in the low voltage compartment check the heater circuit if the red current indication turn off due to heater losing power supply if any abnormal condition is found then cause must be identified in order to the store normal condition uh this is the example uh this is the uh, light which is showing heater current if the light is off it mean the heater is now defective so this is part of routine maintenance precautions in the service safety measures the power must be shut down before scheduled switch gear servicing and the work area must be isolated major ma measures must be taken to dis allow the person power being switched on ensure proper 
earthing and padlocks in place specially trained personnel are required to supervise okay what are included in service service uh, check all compartments and internal compartment for dampness rust and dirt check dark check the fixed contact including its profile for any sign of sparking or wear and tear check the shutter mechanism in the circuit breaker compartment check the inter locking between the circuit breaker and the earthing switch check the bottle bo bolted connection between the power cable connectors and lugs check earthing switch operations check the interlocking between earthing switch and the cable compartment door check the interlocking between the circuit breaker and the breaker compartment door check the voltage indications check the heater close and open the circuit breaker for five times and check the circuit check all interlocking mechanisms so this was a, a brief introduction of mv switch gear operation and maintenance it will give you a good idea how the mv switch gear is is, is operation maintenance uh, is, is is done thank you very much mm -hmm.